Should you use a snooze button? Well, certainly regularity is critical, going to bed at the same time and waking up at the same time. And certainly using alarms can help you do that. And I use the word plural there, alarms. What I mean is not to have multiple awakenings in the morning. I mean, we should all set a to bed alarm. You know, think about the time that you need to go to bed to get that eight hour sleep opportunity and then set the alarm maybe sort of 15 minutes before and that's just the call. It's sort of like last orders at a bar. Now is the time to sort of start preparing to get ready for this sleep event. You can also, by the way, just sort of before sleep in the last hour, you can sort of get into your pajamas, your sleeping clothes, brush your teeth, floss your teeth, do all of those things that end up taking away and sort of an additional 15 minutes or 20 minutes. Get those in ahead of time. But what about the snooze button though? Unfortunately, it's probably not a good idea because there is some data where if you look at the cardiovascular response to an alarm, it's actually quite a stressful event for your cardiovascular system. We see a spike in heart rate, stress chemicals increase. Now it's fine to use an alarm just that one time in the morning to wake you up, but you shouldn't really be hitting the snooze button because then you are repeatedly assaulting your cardiovascular system. And you may think, well, you know, I, I only hit it maybe sort of three or four times, you know, how bad is that? Well, maybe for that one day it's not bad, but if you're doing that every single day, every week, every month, every year, every decade across a lifetime, you can imagine the type of additional cardiovascular strain that that places on people. So use the alarm, that's fine, but try to use it once and then get up and have a good day.